you need to carry on when the pain sets in. And when the pain is there for long enough, it becomes suffering, you know, because there's no end in sight. There's a lot of suffering, there's a lot of pain, um, but it's just sort of strangely addictive and the harder it is, the more people seem to love it and the more they want to do it and get into it. So it's a strange kind of love, I think. It's often such a sort of impossible sounding goal. I mean, adventure racing teaches you can, you can go a lot further than you think you can. If someone said to me, you're a real normal guy. <laughs> you know, I'd probably be crushed. <laughs> and I think event racing is, a, is enough of a break from normality to kind of just say to myself, yeah, no, I'm not normal. Every race there's moments where you think, why am I doing this and I'm never going to do this again, this is just crazy. There's definitely some sort of strange appeal of actually going into those dark places. You see the true people underneath who they are um, because you see them having absolute highs and absolute lows during that event race and we've seen what people are prepared to do um, for the team. Well it's a good test, it's a, this is a brutal stage, I mean, they don't really come any harder than this really. Even the top teams, and I think we forget that, also get blisters, also really suffer, but they never go slower. That's phenomenal to watch. It's like, oh, they are human, but they just kind of get back to being human after the race because of the bigger goal. 